Welcome to Palate Expanders, where two people come together and taste mystery meads to expand our palates. Let's get started. All right, in this series, we, myself, Man May Mead, and BC with Doing the Most, are here to expand our palates. We're doing this in a new fashion. We have each brought a mead, a mystery mead, because he doesn't know what I have. I don't know what he has. We're going to taste test them and then ultimately, hopefully, uh, identify them correctly <laughs> and kind of go through the um, vocabulary process and just learn about um, the tasting process and get better at it. And that's this is kind of the best way to do it is to continually taste things. So in this first episode, We've got two mystery meads, and I will go ahead and show mine right here. I'm not going to say it, so I don't give it away, but you'll see it on the screen. This is the mead we're tasting right now, and BC's is now on the screen. <laughs> and I might just lose the whole label. So um, we're going to go ahead and pour them, and then, of course, do some tasting. So first of all, let's go ahead and get started with the colors. Now, okay. just as BC said, there's a obvious color difference. There is. And in this side... Um, this is mine. This side over here is BC's. Okay. So you can see, and I'll get a close-up shot of this for the camera, but mine's a little more brown. Mm -hmm. um, yours is definitely more purple blue. Mm -hmm. They're pretty, they're about, about the same amount of clarity. Yeah. I would say. Which uh, is good because mine had a wild ride over here. Yeah. On, like, on the highway. I was going to say travel. Okay. So let's... Yeah, yours has kind of uh, a rust color to it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's I, like a reddish brown. I don't know if my eyes are deceiving me, but I can see but the, the legs of the alcohol, like mm -hmm. more so in mine. It is hard to tell. They're not the legs aren't really clinging to yeah. the glass here on either of them. Not super well anyway. Alright, let's get some aroma checks. Okay. I'm gonna so we're sniff yours start first. Start with mine. I definitely get a nice um uh, Oh, I get like um I immediately thought of hibiscus, but I I know hibiscus is way stronger, so maybe it's very floral. Very, very, very floral. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Definitely has some fruitiness to it as well. Mm -hmm. It's like earthy fruit. Makes me think of a blueberry. Mm -hmm. But also it's purple, so my brain <laughs> goes to the blueberry. Sick. Yeah. Yeah. There's, you can, um, I, I won't, I won't interrupt your, your aroma notes here too much, but you, you can still smell a little bit of heat on this. Yeah. I don't get a ton, but I do get a little bit. Mm -hmm. Um, just, just a touch. Yeah, it's it's weird. It has this like not only this earthy um, vibe to it, but I do get that. I think it's the floral side, the, mm -hmm. that bright uh, floral that's just like also presenting such a um, a nice contrast between the two. Maybe that's that hibiscusy kind of note I'm getting. Okay, let's uh, smell mine. Taste, taste test. Aroma check mine. Yeah, yeah. It's, my nose is full of that now. Okay. Oh, much different. Uh huh. <laughs> okay, so this is this is this is my turn here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Open this up a little bit. This is rich. It's um, it's almost got a chocolatey kind of note, like a toasty, roasty, buttery, kind of smooth. It's it doesn't have as much of that heat on the nose as this one does. I get that. It's mm -hmm. a little bit biscuity. Like it's yeah. got like a, uh, not bready, bready would be the wrong term, but like biscuity, like that kind of, that Maillard, that's like whenever you put biscuits in, in the oven, you let them go like a minute, two minutes too long and they get real brown on the bottom. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's got a lot of that happening in here. It smells rich. It smells velvety. Like there's a, there's a real smoothness to the aromatics on here, whereas this one I sense this to be a sharper. Yeah, definitely. I, yeah, I agree. I think this one, um, this is more juice esque to me. It, it's mm. more tame in that regard. This, if I had to like give a textural descriptor to what uh -huh. this smells like, it smells like like a velvety blanket. You Interesting. Know? Yeah. Huh. Like like a like it's it's warm and rich and cozy. Mm -hmm. You can definitely get, I feel like con contrasting the two, I get more body off the aroma from mm -hmm, this one than mm -hmm, I do this. Mm -hmm. And I feel like that sounds so silly to say, but. Interesting. 
Okay. Well, okay. let's go ahead and taste them. Let's go in the same order. Let's do yours first. Okay. And then we'll come back to mine and we'll talk. Let's do it. So let's okay. try yours first. You got some um, a little acidity in there, like a, a, a good balance though, not like mm -hmm. not too sharp. Um, it's very smooth though. The bite mm -hmm. comes a little bit later, like the initial um, mouthfeel is like, it's very full and, and it's pretty, pretty warm. And then it kind of switches over to like a little bit of a, a bite. It's definitely more, more um, earthy than the nose. Mm -hmm. Like the nose has a lot of brightness to it. This has more, the actual taste of it has more dark blueberry, like maybe a mixed berry idea. Um, that's a catch all. That's not a good way to say it. Cause there's a lot of mixed berries in the yeah. world. Yeah. But no, I think that this one, um, it has that um, a slight puckering sensation. I mm -hmm. get that just a little bit. Uh, and are you are you saying that's a tannin pucker or it's more a sour like an acidic pucker? Um, is it heavy tannic? Heavy heavy tannic because so it's, it's like more, pulling the it's wicking yeah. the moisture out of your yes. Okay. But I also feel like I'm getting a little bit of of that acidity that bite to to me at least like later on like I get that initial like pulling mm -hmm. and then. You know, a couple seconds later is when I get that. I do think I like the balance of it though. I think it's it's nice. It's not a bad like um, level of uh, uh, acidity or mm -hmm. bite. It's um, in fact it's that stair stepping idea. We talked about mm -hmm. that before. Yeah. One of the great things, if you can accomplish the stair stepping effect in a mead, you have accomplished a big thing, and yeah. that it, it develops over the course of four to eight seconds. If it's a flat two seconds, nothing yeah. changes. Or like a slide. Yeah. Yeah. That's like the best wines in the world are ones that have lots of dimensions. And mm -hmm. that's that three dimensional aspect I'm sure on the show we'll get to at some point. Yeah. But. Yeah, it's got some of that. I, I could I could I could do with a little bit more mm -hmm. of that stair step, but it does have that kind of three part flavor experience. Yeah. Which is nice. I do like the balance on this. Mm -hmm. It's been a while since I've opened a bottle <laughs> of this one. That's the fun part of this. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead I, uh, we'll talk about guesses here in a second. We'll make some, okay. some guesses, but let's okay. go over to mine. Now, um, this is going to be a big change. I'll just forewarn you. It's going to be a okay. big change from, from yours. So I'm a little intimidated. I now. need, well, it's just a, just a change. So, okay. Yeah, that is, that is a big contrast <laughs> in flavor and mouthfeel. Oh yeah. So there's less of that chocolatey sensation on the palate. Mm -hmm. I get it kind of mid palate right before I swallow of that like roasty dark chocolate kind of flavor but it's not it's not backed up really by any sweetness which is interesting because in the front you do get a sweetness yeah like right in the front of your tongue I don't sense any of that sweetness when I experience that that roastier flavor that's in there there's not a whole lot of tannin to this mm -hmm. and so that that wicking like mouth sucking kind of sensation you get with the first one is absent from this one. Mm -hmm. And I think that's the thing that's giving me the most, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like sh the sharpest neck snap. So initially there's a little bit of just a very delicate sourness, like a, just a light acidity, almost like the type of acidity you would associate with coffee. Interesting, yeah. But I'm not really getting any of the, like, any coffee flavors uh -huh. in here. I can see that. That makes sense. Hmm. If I had to, like, wager a guess, I would presume that there was some kind of caramelized sugars in here. Like, maybe that it's a boche. It has, to me, I, I always equate the, like, this um, juice to wine idea. Mm -hmm. Like, this to me just has, it's very smooth. Mm -hmm. and, I, and I honestly can't remember, remember off the top of my head the ABV, but I. I don't think it, I think it is mellowed well. I'll put it that way. Yeah. Um, but you're right. It doesn't have a lot of tannic value. It doesn't have a lot to like hold on to. This is an example of a very like 1D, one dimensional um, mead in that you get like some sweetness to me. You mm -hmm. get some like the, the slight tingle of spice. That's, it's faint, but it's not. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's like a slight nuance of warm spices or baking spices in there, but it's like, I have to search for it to yeah. find it. I mean, most of what I pick up is is like a Maillard kind of flavor. I mean, there's yeah. like a like a roasty flavor or a toasty flavor, but it's unlike like typically like in a boche, you would you would sense that as toffee or caramel mm -hmm. or marshmallow. I don't 
pick that up. What I pick up is like that, I guess earthy mm -hmm. is a kind of, a, but almost not like, it sounds bad to say it, but like a charcoal kind of yeah. flavor. Yeah, no, I get that. that and it's, it's not, not necessarily that I see that as a fault. I actually see it as like one of the primary flavors in here. So if you... But it is juicy. You're right. Yeah. It's got a... I mean, you could you could drink a glass of this, not mm -hmm. just a taster. It's It drinks real easy. Yeah. Yeah. So if you... Let's go backwards on this time. If, okay. Since we're fresh on this one. Okay. If you were to take a guess on what this is, ingredient-wise or style, like what would what would be your... If I just said done it? ballpark it? Yeah. I would guess that this was a... A medium bodied boche with no back sweetening with wildflower honey and no acid or tannin amendments mm -hmm. made to it. Okay. That's what I would guess. Okay. That's all, that's the whole point of this. This is just to go <laughs> for it. It's just a guess. So mine, my guess for you is I think yours is um, some, I want to say blueberry medium body blueberry something some kind of floral i do still get that hibiscus note and i'm trying to equate something else that would be in that hibiscus family a mm -hmm. floral that would provide such a bright uh, aromatic side and i know hibiscus does quite a bit with that mm -hmm. so i'm gonna put myself out there and say blueberry kind of hibiscus um combination and i mean honey type it doesn't have like an extreme defining side to me like i get i get more of like a not quite wildflower, more, yeah, it doesn't have a big defining factor. So it may be wildflower slash clover, clover honey. Um, yeah, I think that's that's my guess. Okay. So, okay, now, <laughs> big reveal. And you guys already know, you guys are probably, you've either cringed or you've you've celebrated with us as we've gone through this. Probably cringed. So, uh, I'll unwrap Let's mine. Let's here. So mine is an apple pie mead. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Now, half of this this series is going to be a, a test to see how well we do and just uh -huh. making things. Um, it is a <laughs> <laughs> avocado blossom honey, uh -huh. not bow shade, uh, apple pie filling. This uh -huh. is where I went wrong with this one in QA23. I threw apple pie filling in the secondary, I uh -huh. believe, with this mead, and it just, everything, all the apple flavor, flavor fermented out and it was just gone and then you're left with some baking spices I don't pick up apple pie yeah exactly all, <laughs> all in there but I, what i will say is that like roasty biscuity note if there was like any sense of apple in there just uh -huh. a little bit of like a that malic acid punch that apple brings i think that would that biscuity note whatever is contributing that would kind of give you that crusty kind of yeah for sure that, when you're saying that pie. i was thinking i was like well, did i put anything because i used graham crackers before <laughs> yeah. of course i guess so. that could come from apple pie filling's got roasted apples in it so yeah. maybe some of that roasty flavor is coming from the maillard reaction from roasting those apples mm -hmm. but man i don't pick up apple yeah <laughs> at all. No. no i uh i definitely um definitely don't either so that was if i were to do this again and i have done this again um i use graham crackers and Actual baking spices and yeah. actual apples and the whole process. There's a video. I'll put a card right here. Yeah, you got to go all the way with apple. That's the thing I learned from you. <laughs> yeah, so. you can't have ass <laughs> apple. <laughs> all right, so what's yours? So this one, I don't really think it even says on the label. <laughs> and I might just Waffle. lose the whole label. That's painter's tape. This is, is supposed some to be. hardcore painter's tape, man. Uh, well, so the label's totally ripped, but what... <laughs> This was bottled um, in, man, I wish I could read when it was bottled. Yeah, May 3rd of 2019. May 2019. Wow, <laughs> that's weird. That is okay, <laughs> huh. So yeah, this was bottled in May of 2019. This is a Viking blood clone. Okay. So it's got mixed berries. Yeah. It's got hibiscus. Ah, and it's got, yes! I believe, wildflower honey. Yes! So you freaking nailed it. I'm, I'm very impressed. Yeah. Man. And it's got a lot of hibiscus in Man, it. Man, we're There's... starting off way too high. <laughs> My tastings can only go downhill from here. I mean, so the, the, the benefit to this one is it used a few very simple ingredients, and it used a whole heck of a lot of them. Yeah. And so on the back end... All, all those flavors are really prominent because that's all that's there. Yeah. Well, <laughs> so. and, I, and now that you mention that, and 
as I investigate the mixed berry, I get more. I do get more cherry. I can I can kind of sense and remember what yeah. cherry a tart cherry tart is. cherry is mm -hmm. is like. But I don't get anything else. I don't get. I'm guessing it was blueberries, tart cherry, maybe strawberry. But <sighs> maybe. strawberry is like a flavor that just goes away. I want to like, say that there were raspberries in there too, but yeah. it was really the blueberries and the tart cherries that that I think did the trick on yeah. this one. Well, I mean, this is a testament to your capabilities. You you presented the product well. You know, what I mean, this is two sides of the coin. You made something that that produced all of the possible flavors. <laughs> Mine had a little shortcoming. So uh, there's a video of this on the channel. Yes, too. and I, I will put. I think I can put a tag for you up there. You probably. Well, I'll put it in the down description. description. So yeah, um, this has been the first episode, and we are going to be back to do more of these with our meads, and then eventually maybe we'll expand out and surprise each other with commercial meads or something like oh, that, I love that and, idea. and do some crazy things. If you would like us to, um, if you know of any specific meads you would like us to pair, um, the, I guess the best way to do it would be to personally DM both of us instead of putting it down in the comments because that would give it away. Spoil the whole yeah. thing. <laughs> so personally DM, DM us and say, hey, you should do this one for your next one. Um, I think That'd be fun. If we have bottles cool. of it, maybe. Yeah, I'm hyped. So this has been the first episode. Thanks, PC. Hey, I'm excited for more of these. This is this is fun. Oh, we got two open bottles. Now, oh, I mean, so. we're gonna. <laughs> <laughs> so hope you guys have a great day. Make sure to check out BC's channel, of course, and we'll be back with another one of these soon. And cheers. Cheers. cheers.